D.A. Denton and Father O and the dog and I think Betty. <clears throat> and we were going to deal with Grandma's pies. <laughs> and going to deal with dry Grandma's the, pies. The, uh, <laughs> the uh, That's Reverend, crazy. he drove the truck into the building and then... Uh -huh. Then he hopped out the door, went to the other side, made friends with the dog. Yeah. And then it was right down to that last draw. And we made the correct draw. So I got the win on that one. <laughs> but it was just right down to the end. It was good memories on that one. How awesome. Yeah. How awesome. It's one that was so fun that I found myself every now and again, I'll look it up. And just watch it just for the heck of it. How <laughs> funny. Yeah. While yeah. I'm painting or something. That's cool. Yeah. Sean Hudson, Talamikas. Ray is on here. D.W. Lowe. Vern Jeske. Jim Stutt. Ooh, Sean Hudson. Very nice. Thank you guys so much for joining today. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Going to have a lot of fun today. <clears throat> I guess I need to go check on Bessie. There's uh Bessie. Let's see. All right, I guess I better make a trip next door and see if Oh no worries. Can they hear me all right? What what? Can they hear me? Yeah, yeah. They you got good volume. Okay, so I gotta be careful right, what I say. Up. All right. Let's see what Bessie's up to. Gotta be careful what I say. Four. Let's see here. Fourteen. Twenty-four. All right. I don't know how well you can hear me, ladies and gentlemen, but looking forward to doing this again. It's been a little while since I got to play. It was, let's see, September of last year. So it's been a little while. And uh, yeah, I have this card that I keep track of all the times I've been able to to play with Dave. And <clears throat> and uh, we first started this on November 29, 2020. And it was smash and grab and I it was a loss. Oh, it was terrible. It was a it was a rough beginning. I had a loss. But then the next one was a win. And and <laughs> over the over the couple of years I've had had this will be my 18th game i think i may have missed writing down a couple but this will be at least the ones that i've recorded this will be my 18th game wow and looking forward to this i was just regaling the the folks there with yeah yeah that's awesome yeah great fun that's awesome <clears throat> that's awesome so we have um been having a lot of fun with this little middle earth uh inspired campaign mini campaign really not we're not keeping track of experience or resources or anything like that it's just as a matter of fact even this the scenarios aren't really linked in in much of a meaningful way the um the, the idea here kind of loosely is that it is the time period in between when bilbo returns from his uh adventure with smog um so he returns back to the shire sometime i don't know around 2941 2942 somewhere in there the year of the third age and then uh he's in the shire until uh like year 3001 or so uh of the third age and then you know he travels uh does some additional traveling goes to rivendale and I think he even travels back to the Lonely Mountain at that point and does a little bit of traveling before kind of settling there in Rivendell again. Um, so there's a good like 60 year time period there between when he gets back from his adventure to the Lonely Mountain and, and when he leaves, you know, for his last time from the Shire. So there's like 60 years there. And he doesn't even adopt... Uh, 
Frodo until around 2989 or so. So there's even a good 40 years between, 47 maybe, between the time he gets back from uh, the, uh, the dragon adventure and just when he adopts Frodo. So there's like 40 years in there that aren't really touched on very much. So that's kind of the time period that we've put for these little adventures. So for this adventure, we're thinking, you know, sometime around, um, you know, Frodo at this point, he's, um, Frodo is probably only around 15 years old or so at this point. So it's it's been a few years since he was orphaned. Frodo now is is living pretty much permanently over at Brandy Hall. Uh, he won't be adopted by Bilbo until he's around 21, uh, is actually when Bilbo adopts him. Um, so that's still several years away, and probably another six years or okay. four years or so. Um, but anyway, for this one, for this story, so that's the time period. It's, it's kind of loosely in there. Um, we could say this is probably around 2983 or something like that. Um, so B Frodo is around 15 years old. We also know that Frodo, uh, and many of the, many of the younger hobbits had a habit of of um, visiting Maggot's farm and, you know, pilfering a little bit. Uh, so that's kind of what this has to do with as well. So 2983, um, a group of, uh, a small number of wargs are spotted uh, around Bree. Now Bree, of course, is, or Bree land, if you want to call it that, is made up of Oh, uh, five or six small settlements or communities over around in that area, uh, Bree being the largest of them. Um, but the wargs continued further to the west, uh, and so some hunters, the rangers, and other folks that want to be involved in that sort of thing have taken off to try and drive off those wargs, mm -hmm. to get rid of those wargs in the area. They continue, uh, so what we have here is our, our, our hunting group, one of the groups of hunters that went off to, to hunt down the wargs. So we have Gimrock, um, the, uh, the dwarf. We have Little Speck, of course, who's also a resident of Bree. Uh, there's a small hobbit community there in, there in Bree. And then, of course, uh, Atheron um, is, is there as well. So... These are Gimrock and Atheron are both level three characters. Little Spec is the same that we've used previously, and he's only level two. So I think, I don't remember if I did a video about their stats or not, but anyway, I'll, I'll try to post their, their profiles up on the, on the players group if I haven't already. Uh, Bilbo is the same Bilbo that we have used previously. However, in, in the story of, of, of our scenario today is that the, the hunters, Gimrock and Atheron and Edspec as well, followed the trail of the, um, of the wargs, uh, down, what is it, Brandywine mm -hmm. River, um, uh, um, uh, and come near to Brandy Hall. And, you know, they notify the Brandy Bucks there that there is there are wargs in the area and to be on the lookout. And so they continue on their hunt. Well, lo and behold, uh, Mary lets uh, Bilbo know that, that Frodo had headed off towards Maggot's farm earlier that day. Yeah, yeah. So Frodo takes off. Uh, not Frodo, uh, Bilbo takes off to go chase after the hunters and let them know that to watch out for, for Frodo oh. as well. Mm -hmm. So he goes, he, he frequently visited uh, Brandy Hall as one, just one of his normal, you know, walkabouts that he ends up in Brandy Hall. Finds out that, um, that uh, Frodo had wandered off, 
headed off towards Maggot's farm. And so uh, he goes to chase the hunters and to, to help them. But he is a little bit behind. Yep. So as the scenario starts, he is one turn delayed. And he won't show up until the next turn. Now, I think it's worth mentioning that I did float a little bit of a story idea involving a, a stolen magic item, kind of throwing that out the window and saying the story really is just about the wargs, hunting the wargs. That is really what they're here to do. But as they get word that Frodo is in the area, mm -hmm. that becomes really the major plot point. So the finding of Frodo is the major plot point. This is an interesting scenario. Uh, this comes out of the Tomb of the Serpent book, mm -hmm. and this is scenario out of Chapter Two of the uh, of buried the secrets. Uh, buried secrets, buried secrets, which really is a, a a very sort of basic sort of scenario. About the only special rules that it adds in are the uh, the spoilers. So we have a red herring and it's a trap. And it's scenario. a trap. Yeah, we have two. two. We have two. We have two spoilers in this one. Give me a four again. So we will uh, be randomly drawing uh, spoilers as the plot points are discovered. And then I have a little fun thing planned out for it's a trap if it ever gets drawn as well. All right. So... Um, Let's get started. Let's get started. Starting turn number one, we've already drawn cards. We are... You want to mix these up a little sure. bit, baby? We'll we'll roll for them. I'm not going to draw the cards because okay. the, the backs aren't consistent. Um, mm, that's true. Hmm. You're the director, aren't you? I am the director. I am the director. going to make uh, Vern go? I don't know. I kind of feel like... Yeah... Yeah, I'll I'll ask you to activate first there, Vern. All right. <clears throat> if I could go ahead and have um Al Atheron uh -huh. uh, go ahead and head towards that plot point that he is kind of head for the well, I guess. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's about a seven-inch move. Do you want to move all the way to the plot point? Yeah, let's go all the way to it. Okay, about an eight-inch move. You are on the plot point, and from there you could, you do have line of sight to the wargs if you wanted to fire off a shot in their direction, which really definitely. isn't much reason not to. Yeah, definitely. So he comes around there, and he spots the wargs, the pack of wargs over there. <coughs> um, he, now... Uh, we are using the fantasy or the or, uh, medieval sort of setting mm -hmm. rules, which say that you cannot normally move over six inches and shoot. So if you move over six inches, you can't shoot. Uh, and then we're also saying you that... You can't shoot more than once per turn. You can't shoot more than once per turn. Right. Uh, However... Ath Atheron, uh, the elf, ignores both of those rules. Yeah. So he can yeah. run and shoot. And he, he shoots basically just like the normal Paul Valley rules. Yep. So he ignores like the setting rules. So he can move over there and shoot. He normally fires uh, three die eight. Because he is ready, he gets a plus one bonus. Mm -hmm. um, remember, you are ready before and during your own activation. So he is right. considered ready because it's during his activation. He did move over six inches, so it's going to cost him a dice. That's going to take him down to three dice. And yep. the uh, warg will, of course, be trying to dodge it with four die eight. Okay. Okay, let's see it. See if there are any cards to be played. Don't see any. Okay. No. Elf scores three hits. Nice. Nice yeah. shooting after all. I know, I know. Right. Uh, that's, uh, we're going to say that's red eye in the front there. And he's only going to be able to stop one of them, and he's going to take two hits. Nice. So here is his two hits. 
Ah, All passes. right, no damage on that strike. Oh, but they definitely know he's there. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you to continue activating characters. All right. Um, where is the... There's about a seven-second delay, just so you know. Um, okay. <clears throat> so where is the next plot point? The next nearest is for to... Gimrak here, yeah. and it mm -hmm. is just on the other side of this wall. You know what? I'll just move it so it's easier for you to see. I moved it because so it would be easier for the overhead, oh, there, but there. it's it's right here next to this wall. Okay. And it's about seven inches or so away. Yeah, let's have Gimrak move on over there. Okay, he's going to sit on it. I'm not sure if he has line of sight. Oh, he wouldn't be able to do that anyway. He wouldn't be able to shoot right, because he, right. he is not an elf. Uh, he does have shooting dice, though. I don't want to mislead anybody. Gimrak right. does have two dice six in shooting. Also, Spec has a d6 in shooting. Uh, basically, all of the player characters, I shouldn't say it that way, but all of the, the good guy side have shooting dice that are capable of shooting. The wargs do not have any dice in shooting, so they will not be doing any okay, shooting. Okay, and we have mm -hmm. spec left. Yeah, what do yeah. we want to do with spec? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to ask you now, to activate okay. the third character. Yeah, let's have spec head over by Gimrak. Okay, behind him or in front of him? Um, Boy, I hate to put him in front, but we will. Put him in okay. front. Okay, <laughs> spec, spec leading Poor the way. Poor little spec. Yeah. Speck is leading. Well, he knows this area pretty well. He does. Yeah. He yeah. does. Yeah. He's a resident of Bree, but he, he visits, uh, uh, he's you know, been, the he's Shire been around the block a uh, few quite times. Quite a bit. Yeah. Around uh, Brandy Buck. Now, this is uh, the Marish area, which is kind of a, a reclaimed area that was really marshy at one point, but the hobbits worked to kind of reclaim it. So it's a little bit marshy here. Uh, it's called the Marish. Uh, but it's uh, somewhat north of Maggot's Farm and, uh, you know, uh, west of uh, Brandywine. But there are several uh, little settlements and things like that through here. But it's a little bit lower and it's a little bit wetter than some of the areas. Just for points of reference, obviously the ruins block line of sight. The big gray area or big brown area here in the middle of the table, that blocks line of sight. Also, we're calling this a perilous area. Okay. So something's going on in here that you'll have to watch out for. Uh, and then, of course, the trees also uh, mm -hmm. block line of sight. Okay, he's activated all his characters, so I guess I'm going to activate mine. Yeah, what are mm -hmm. your friendly... The wargs. Completely innocent little guys going to do. Well... I hear they're just out for a stroll. Oh, they are not just out for a stroll. No, I hear they're just lady. out for a stroll. They Friendly. They are not just out for a stroll. So this uh, red eye is going to activate, and he's going to move over here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Kind of positioning himself here a little bit between Atheron and this plot point, just okay. depending on what I decide to do there. All right. And then... Uh, He's also going to come oh, over here. Well, that's his dirty dogs. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. On this side, I'm going to send this. They're going to do the same thing. He's going to move 12 inches out here, positioning himself between the plot point and between the... Uh, what are your level... Three. Three three All three. of the wolves are level three, so it's made up with the League of Legends perk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So... A little right. bit of cheating in this scenario. Um, for those of you that don't know, I cheat occasionally and just make stuff up. And I encourage you to do the same. If, I if you want, cheating. if you want to, if you want to make a new ability, and for this scenario, the ranger ability that I gave to Atheron uh, is just made up. It just it's something that I've been toying around with for a while. But mm -hmm. I finally ended up just making it, um, you know, something that I could use in this scenario. So the two things that he has are that he gains a plus one bonus to all of his skills when he is ready. So that's only during his own activation. Mm -hmm. If it's not his activation, 
then he, he, he does not have that. I, I shouldn't say it that way. While he is ready, he gets a plus one bonus. That's all you need to know. Uh, yeah. And then he also ignores the uh, Middle Earth shooting rules uh, so that he can basically shoot as normal. All right. All right. We're starting turn number two. We're pulling yep. a slug out of the cylinder. You're still the director. I am still the director. Dave got a clear shot. Clear Bird, shot. You got an unseen peril. Well, that's nice. Oh, okay. Unseen peril. So now what I'm going to have to do is decide what am I going to do here. Oh, uh, cool. uh, Bilbo. Oh, Bilbo. So what did you, okay. What did you say Bilbo I got, comes on the table. Well, I'm sorry, everyone. What was it? What did you say I got? You got an unseen peril. Okay. So Bilbo could come on. Um, the question comes up occasionally: if if someone is delayed, where do they deploy? They deploy. They use the exact same deployment rules as for your side, mm -hmm. which means that you can deploy on your side within twelve inches of your edge of the table, but you cannot deploy within six inches of a plot point. Yep, must be over six inches from a mm -hmm. plot point. So. Um, mm -hmm. Where do you feel like you'd like to be? All right. Um, well, we're going to start hidden, if at all possible. I don't know that he has that. Let me check. I mean, you could go into hiding at the end of your activation, yeah. but okay. I don't believe I gave him anything to say that he could start hidden. Oh, okay. No worries. I apologize. Um, no, no. So let's. So he him. shows up uh, and finds out that there are wargs in the area. He's of course worried about Frodo. Where do you feel like you? Do you want to be near one of the plot points? Do you want to be in the middle? I don't know where you want him to be. So he's going to show up in which area? In your deployment zone. So he can show up within twelve inches of your edge, but not within six inches of a plot point. Okay, put him straight up the middle, as okay. close as possible to the middle plot point, and that's where okay. he's going to head. So you'll be a little over six inches from the middle plot point. Yeah, and that's where he will head on his turn. Okay, okay. When the time All right. comes. I don't think we're there yet. Uh, I have to decide what I'm going to do as yeah. a director now. I have to mm -hmm. look at this table and decide, <laughs> do I want to go first or do I want to make Vern go first? Make Vern go? Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm going to get a big advantage from doing it any other way. So I'm going to ask. I'm going to go ahead and ask Vern to go. Okay, so he's going to go straight forward towards the. He activates the plot Bilbo. You can move six inches as soon as you touch my perilous area. However, you're going to get a peril. As soon as you touch my perilous area, let's see how Bilbo can handle a peril, though. Oh, yeah. It is one with might. Ooh. One with might. That is not his sweet spot. You only get to roll one D8 for that unless you discard a card because his might and his Do shooting the out of ammo. are hindered. Yeah, let's go ahead and use, like Bessie said, let's use the out of ammo. and Out of ammo goes away. Yeah. Out of ammo goes away. And now you're going to get two dice. Bessie, I'll let you do the honors. Two dice needs to get one success here. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Barely, but we got it. All right, and he continues on. With hey, let's scoot that camera over so we can activation. get a good view. Activation. There you go. And another three-inch move will basically put you one inch away from the uh, plot point. So now I have to decide if I'm going to send somebody in there to get him. Oh. Oh, do you want to discard to uh, go hidden? Right. That's At what the I was... end of your activation. Yeah. If Disarm. you are not engaged, and you can choose to discard something to, to go hidden. Yeah, let's use the disarm to do that. Disarm. Okay. Okay. Oh, do you want me to go grab a black? No, I got okay. it, baby. Great minds, Bessie, great minds. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he it goes into hiding as he enters... The spooky woods. All right, you gotta he burn. sees that there are some strange uh, spider webs all Ooh. through there. Yeah. As he kind of, as he kind of has to work his way through those woods. No, thank you. Oh. Wonder if Frodo went in there trying to hide. <laughs> Frodo may have snuck in there to hide. 
I don't think I want to try and send a wolf in there. I don't oh, think so. On. I think I'm going to ignore you, and I'm just going to go ahead and wipe out the rest of your party. Okay. All right. But first, I'm going to ask you to activate a character. Okay, so... You have Atheron over here by the well. Mm-hmm. The wolf hunter. Okay, so let's have... Or you have um, Gimrak and Spec. Yeah, let's have Atheron go ahead and try a plot point there. Okay. Give the man a peril. Okay. He's reaching down inside the well. Something's down in there. One with finesse. One there with finesse. What do you know? That's his sweet spot. He has three die, eight, and finesse. And he's ready. That's going to give him that fourth yeah. dice. Yeah. Got it. Okay, Woo! easy peasy. Sweet. So, oddly enough, there are some spider webs down in the well as as well. So, he's kind of scooting them webs? aside. I don't know what's the deal with the spider webs going mm -hmm. on. I hate spiders. That's kind of Why weird. Why have to be spiders? The plot <laughs> point challenge is two with miter finesse. He right. is ready. He's going to get that fourth dice using his finesse here. Needs two. Got it. And you got yeah. it. So that's going to get you a plot point. Now we have two spoilers sitting oh, yeah. in this pile. We have oh, it's this, a trap. This makes it fun. Give me a. Oh no. We have an it's a trap and a red herring. Or at least oh, I don't have to draw. Two spoilers. We're going to give them a little bit of a mixy shuffle yeah. here. A little bit of a mixy oh, shuffle. Boy. Okay. We're going to lay them out. One, two, three, four, five, right. six, seven. And we're going to roll. Okay. This is one. This is eight. I'm sorry. This is one. This is seven. Hey, we'll give me a good one. one. <laughs> give me a good one, Bessie. Uh, we re-roll. Okay. Eight. Uh, four. One. one two. two. Three, four. Oh, I can't tell from the back. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a good one. And it is, in fact, a good one. Yay! Yay. Plus one to okay. your might. <clears throat> Plus one to his might. Now, Frodo is found when we draw the experience yep. card. So that okay. was not Frodo that he finds down in the well. Okay. He searches the okay. well and... and uh, I'm going to attach that just so I can keep track of who has what. I, I put together some silly little cards here that really only have the names on them just so I can attach that to it and, and show that. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Then thinking ahead, I had to put the proper cards out there. But instead, I'm just using a roster. But I get a little confused sometimes if I'm just using a roster about who I has know. which I'm... cards. So for some I reason today, I'm actually so I got doing the, both. Uh... Plus one with brawl or might? Nope, just just might. Oh, uh, it gives you a straight up plus one to your might. These are the oh, okay, basic so... reward cards. These are not the anniversary cards. These are the oh, five uh, reward cards that come with the uh, basic deck. Got it. Oh, okay. Going old school. Uh, Vern, the other thing that occurs there is that that's going to make you the director. Yay! Indeed. Yeah. Uh, so now you can decide to continue activating, or you can make me go. Oh, yeah. that's tough. Yeah. Um, can make you go? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and have Gimrak see what okay. he can find there. All right. Here is Gimrak's peril. One with finesse. You know what? Gimrak is not the most finesse of gentlemen of dwarves. He has two die six Ooh. in finesse. Let's take a look oh. and see if there are any. Well, he does have an uncanny card yeah. in his pocket. Let's see how he does and see if we Let's can. Let's see how he does. Let's yep. see how he does. I'm not. I'm not passing judgment. All he has to do is get one of them anyway. Come on, he can get one. No. No, he does not. not. A one. Are you going to hand me a uncanny card? Yeah, to we'll pass use the that? uncanny. You passed okay. it. Plot point. Plot point is? One with might. Surely one a with good might. might. Now, he actually yeah, has two, three die eight in might. Taking a look to see if he has anything else. No. That is his roll. Three die eight, and he needs one. Woo, barely and got it, but I got it. Barely got it. All right. Yay. So he's searching over there. 
You know, I think I could hear the hounds of uh, from Maggot's farm. Oh. You know, uh, Farmer Maggot keeps uh, uh, some fairly large hounds around his place to kind of protect his farm. I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Chihuahuas, maybe? Possibly. <laughs> Yeah. Possibly Yorkies. Oh, uh, a teacup. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six cards sitting here. This is one. This is six. Two. Two. And the winner Uh-oh. is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What did we get? It's, it's a trap. A trap. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. So one of Maggot's hounds shows up around this area right here. And this is now a perilous area. Oh, no. A vicious oh, chihuahua. Pretty luggage is planting some trees. Now, Enjoy. The other thing that occurs there is that that plot point is removed from play. That's right, you that dirty dog. That plot point dog. is removed from play. It does not yep. get put back on the table. Right. But it's a trap. It, what are you doing? It just goes out, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. It just doesn't say that on there. So for those of you playing along at home, remember that the special rules relating to the cards will be in the scenario, not printed on the card, on the because card. they change from scenario to scenario. So always check the, the special rules in the scenario. But yeah, it, so it, is, it is removed from play. It does not yeah. return to play. <laughs> That's so what that it says. is the howling area yeah. of maggots of... of uh, now... As that hound is howling there, and that's a perilous area now, it will grow in size every turn as more hounds come to the area. Right. So uh, you are still the director. You have one character that you have not activated. So it doubles in size and up to a maximum of 12 inches. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, boy, this is going to be tough for a little spec, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, um, spec activates in the perilous area. Right. And the big friendly dog, maggots, hounds, they, they, are, they are very, very friendly. They'll lick you. Yeah, uh, the so peril awkward. is one with might or finesse. Now, here's the thing. He only has one dice in both of those, right. but what you could do is dodge you can remember you can always try to dodge a peril obviously that will end your activation but yeah. you're right on the edge so you'll get a, a one inch move if you can pass it mm -hmm. and actually get away from the dog yeah let's do a um a dodge but when you dodge let's have him go um towards the uh well the thing is we want to get away further um, I'm thinking of having him go behind the dwarf, just okay. off the edge of the just off the edge of the perilous area. Yeah, I don't think I can get you both behind the dwarf. Let's see. If I'm gonna get you a one inch move, the only way I'm gonna get you out of the perilous area is to move right off the edge. Okay, okay. Go uh, for it. If I move back this way, then I'm not gonna get you off uh, out of the perilous area. Mm-hmm. You would still be in it if you if you choose a different uh, to yeah. try and get behind Gimli, uh, Gimrick. Gimli. Uh, so yeah. a three dice uh, dodge. Let's see it. And you got Yay. it. Yay! Boop, boop. And you. That'll get do. Away from the dog. Yeah. Just. All right. Let's see. But it's gonna it's gonna grow, isn't it? It's gonna catch yeah, you that's, or that's the, the next problem. dog. Yeah. Let's double check what? when it grows. Um, three inch diameter. Seven, blah, 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 blah. At the end of each turn. At the end. So yeah. it's going to double its size at the end of each. At the <laughs> end of this turn. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So you've activated everybody. All four of your characters have activated. Yep. So Spec is going to get uh, caught by hounds again before he even gets a chance to move because that's going to double in size at the end of this yeah. turn. Um, that's the way it goes. 
Atheron has moved. So Frodo is still available. Hmm. No, Fro I think Frodo I'm going to have started. these hounds turn um, around. Do we need to take the gold bit that's under Atheron. and uh, Bilbo? No, Bilbo hasn't done his. Oh, that's right. He didn't do why his yet. You, okay, he just got up there to it. Lady, that's right. Lady? Okay. Lady? I forgot. Okay. Um, so I'm going to turn those hound, those those wargs around. They're going to turn and head back towards. All right. Just I'm send not, them into the perilous area. I know area. we're not going into that perilous oh, area. Oh, oh, they can't take on some teacup Yorkies. No, those are the worst. I'm going to turn him around and come back this way. Pansies. Are they teacup I'll, Yorkies? Oh, that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> that's, why, why did you move it so oh. far away? Yeah, okay. Pansies. Okay. Um, What's he going to do? He's attempting that plot point. There's 16. There's his, his peril. Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Why is she like that? Uh, and Thanks, that's uh, impossible for it to pass. It does oh, not have darn. three dice oh, in finesse or cunning. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have to go to dodge. It has four die eight in dodge. So we'll try to dodge it. He can't dodge that. Did indeed dodge it. Oh. So, um. With the glare, I thought the eight was a three. And I'll just yes. leave him where he's at in position there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and activate this second one that's over there, and it will go check around that area as well. Okay. Something is over there. I've got to find oh. Frodo before Bilbo does. Poop. One with might. One with might. There we go. Three die eight in might. Need one of these? Nope. Got it. Uh, Two bad. with might or finesse. Might again. This is the plot point. Rooting around over there. Pushing the rocks around with its nose, with its paws. I need two. Didn't get it. Did not get it. Only got one. Oh, but you can do a long action? Yep. So that remains in play over there. All right. Which Very one? Cool. Hmm. Now, what do I do about Atheron? I think I still think. Eat his face? I don't think so. I think I Eat still. Eat that pretty blonde I, hair? I still think I want to go after Frodo. Okay. I still think that finding Frodo. Well, I guess you can try with one, and if he gets it, then you can send the other yeah. one after. after. Yeah. Um, Blondie. I'll send this one back. All right, let's set an Unseen Peril on that guy. Okay, Unseen yeah. Peril. Draw that card. Unseen Peril is gone. Three with Brawl cunning your mind. Why do you keep doing yeah. that? She's yeah. not even drawing those off the top of the deck. She has those in her pocket. Uh, three with Brawl. Thanks, well, Bessie. I can use my Brawl against it. One, two, three, four. Four die eight. On brawl, need three. Didn't Got get it. Two, but what I do have is a discard. Okay, I should have said that earlier, so I'm not going to use it here. Uh, so failed the peril. It will have to take a three dice hit, and it is injured. Looks Yay. like Atheron got another shot off after all. And that was uh, this yeah. one. Woohoo! All right. So I'm going to activate Red Eye. And he's the leader of my pack. Uh, so he's going to go up to the plot so point? I think you're completely out of cards now. So he'll go back to the plot point. All right, you oh, ready? Sure, you want to do that? Yep. And he was going one for... with yeah. Might, Finesse, or Cunning. One with Might, Finesse, or Cunning. Cunning, so we'll use his might. I'm not going to use my bonus here. Okay, got, got past the peril. One with finesse, you can't do that. One with finesse, you have no I, that's going to be awfully hard to do finesse. Uh, only have two die six in finesse, and I don't have a card. Nothing to discard? Let's see. I don't have anything, an ability that will help me there. So I oh. need one of these. Nope. Nope. And he remains 
but it has been revealed, and he'll have yep. that. All right. All right. So that's going to end that turn there. Hmm. Any recover? Oh, we have a recovery check. We do have a recovery check. Recovery check for the war. Yep. And Recovers. it shakes it off. That's okay. Good. All right. Um, pull a bullet. Mm-hmm. Cards. Uh, mm -hmm. Vern is director. Okay, Vern, you got a breakaway. Breakaway, that's right. nice. Well, that's good. Dave got a bad news. Bad news. Um, uh, and then we can't forget that this perilous area on Gimrock Doubles. is doubling yeah. in size. Yeah, so right. now it's a six-inch area. No, it's a six-inch area. So that is pretty big as another hound comes racing in. Now both of those hounds are run. Two couple hounds are running around in that area. All right, Vern, are you going to go or are you going to make Dave go? We drew yeah, cards. Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and have, have Bilbo see what he can find there. Okay. Let's see what's in there. Let's see what's in there. All right. Only has, oh, you know what? He's going to get a peril right off the bat right. as soon as he activates. Oh, poop. Okay. It's two with cunning or might. Two with cunning or might. He has three die ten in cunning. He's hey. not a... Uh, he's it's pretty smart um, in the ways of, of sneaking around. Three die ten, and he needs two of these. Oh, got it. And he got it. Oh, I knocked yeah. over your wolfie. I saw it. And then you can uh, move your inch, and he's going to get another peril when he attempts the plot point. Oh, son of a bingo. <laughs> it's one with might. One with might. So, right. that so would, we have an option. That would be normally two, one die eight, because it is a hindered. If you discard a card, then I'm going to give you that extra dice back. But if we use that card, then you can't go into hiding at the end of this. You're down right. to one card. Let, let, let's go ahead and use the one die eight. And Bessie will give me a good one. Oh, one die eight. He okay. says he can do it with one die eight. Okay. There you go, my dear. One success is all you need. <laughs> this is the peril. Yep. And yes. she gets past the peril. All right. Here is the plot point. One with finesse or cunning. And you have three die ten. Oh, wait. Four die ten and four finesse. Four die ten, yep. Four yes. die ten and finesse. He's rooting around over there. Got him. Easy peasy. Right. He's rooting around over there. He's oh, picked poop. up we still have something. The red herring. Yeah. <laughs> He's picked up something. We don't know what it is yet. Oh boy. So we have one, two, three, four reward cards okay. and one red herring. Yay! One experience card here. It's mixed in there. All right. Oh boy. And then we're gonna roll. We have one, two, three, four, five cards. This is one, this is five. I'll re-roll if I get a six. One. Dun, 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 It is a reward, but it is not Frodo. It Dad. is not Frodo, and that area is removed. So I'm going to attach okay. that card to Bilbo. Um, You could discard as an action, Vern. Uh -huh. You could discard to draw two cards. Oh, right. okay. Okay. Get rid of one card to draw two cards. But it is an action. It's an action. Mm -hmm. So Bill has to perform an action to do that, which isn't a bad choice for right. him uh, if you find him How in, many a, turns is this? in a position. Six turns. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there's, yeah, not a, there's not a lot of cushion here. No, there's not. Um, so Bilbo's on turn three here. Bilbo's, we're looking for Frodo. He may not even be here, though. 
right? Yeah. Mathematically, you could go through this entire scenario and never draw Frodo, even if you get all the of the plot is, points. The problem is, is all the plot points left, you're sitting on. I am sitting on all the plot points that are still available. So that because means we, Frodo we bombed is, that one. Frodo is over there with me somewhere, and I'm about to rip his tiny little head off. Mm -hmm. Not so fast, though, Pally. All right. All right. Vern? So, you are still the boss. Are you going to yeah. continue activating, or do you want me to go? Let's go ahead and um, let's have um, Atheron. Mm -hmm. um, where's the next? There's five. We've got I'm um, got the one. Got Gimrak on the second. Bilbo's got mm -hmm. the third. The wolves are threatening the next. Uh, uh huh. Um, so the next nearest plot point to him, if you're watching on the screen, there yeah. is directly ahead of him over here by these ruins yeah. where Red Eye is sitting here rooting around in this in this pile of rubble. Yeah. In between those, in between you and and Red Eye is uh, another warg. However. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, run between the middle perilous area and the nearest warg uh -huh. and, and try and get closer and see if I can get a shot at the one that's at the uh, plot point. Okay. I don't think that's a if bad that's idea. Possible. I'm not sure if I can pull it off for you, but I'm going I'm to give it a good community yeah. college try. So you're going to run between here and here. And yes, indeed, we can pull it off. All so right. he can run all the way to right there next to that tree. A big run getting him all the way to here. And that definitely makes Red Eye the nearer target now. Mm -hmm. Uh, Red Eye's the nearer target. You ran, but you are now at short range, so those two are going to cancel each other out. You're going to have yep. four die eight to roll. Red Eye will be trying to dodge with four die eight. All right. Three, Three successes. successes. Two fives and a seven. Can Red I go Eye ahead and... To dodge. Nope. Can I re-roll one of my shoot die? Yeah. There you go. Nice. Okay. Got a seven. Uh, so four successes, two sevens, and a five. I'm only going to be able to block one of those, but okay. I'm going to take three hits. And failed one. Red eye is injured. Right on. Okay. You are still the director. Mm-hmm. All right. Um... So that other plot point left, okay. All right, we're going to activate um, Gimrak. Okay, he is in a perilous area, so he will yep. get a peril. The peril is two with cunning or might. He has three die eight. Gimrak, the pounds are, are jumping all around him. <laughs> Got it. You got the two successes you needed. You can continue your activation. You want to move six inches towards the wargs? Yeah. Is it um, is it possible? No. Can I move double on that? No, because you're in a perilous area. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Remember, right. in a perilous area, you can't move over six inches. Yeah. So. Okay, we'll move that. Even six though you passed it, uh, it's still slowing you down. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and. Throw one of our small axes or two. Absolutely. Axes. Yes, yeah. indeed. He has shooting skill. He did not move over six inches because he couldn't have. Uh, oh, and that means that he can do range. his shooting at two die six normally. He's at short range. That'll get him a third dice. The ward will be dodging with four die eight. Five. You got a yeah. you got a five. That's more than enough. Warg oh. will dodge it. 
Okay, you still have one character that has not activated. Oh, baby spam. You don't have yeah. to activate him. You could make Miko, or you could go ahead and activate your last character. Well, we got to move eventually. Um, so have him move. Well, first we got to deal with As soon as he activates, he'll get his peril. And his peril yeah. asks him to roll two successes with might or finesse. Can't he has one dice in all of those. So, again, he could try to dodge it with three die six. Yeah. Let's dodge. That's really his yeah. only chance. He won't be able to get out of the perilous area right. no matter what. Yeah, have him dodge. But he may be able to avoid the damage. Yeah, he dodge to... towards Bilbo. Oh, wait, wait. You do have that breakaway card. Because we didn't use it for Bilbo. Mm hmm you... Would that get him out of the, the area? Nah, because it's going to double to 12 yeah. inches at the end of yeah. this turn. Yeah. So just have him do his regular dodge and okay, yeah, regular I dodge. I'd, I'd save it. Nope. Nope. And so it'll take two hits. Oh. Uh -oh. Poor Spec. They're so friendly. Yeah. Nope. And Spec is down. He is level two, so he will get a recovery check at the end. They're of just loving. Him. They're licking him to death. I know. They <laughs> like him. They, they're so friendly. He has hot yeah. dogs in his pocket. So I told him not to bring the hot I dogs. I told him not to bring the hot dogs. The hobbits need snacks. Uh, yeah. They can't resist the hot dogs. Um. So you've activated all your characters. Yep. It's so your now turn. I'm going to activate the wargs. You got the, plot points already established. I know. Yeah. I guess I'm going to activate. Uh -oh. uh, I'm going to activate uh, four paw over here, and he will attempt the plot point. So here is his peril, one with cunning or might. He has three die eight. This is the peril, past the peril. The plot point itself is already established. He needs one success to get it, and got it's got. All right, so that means he finds something over there. We don't know what well, it is, what though. could it be? Where are they? Okay, you're mix uh, Bessie's mixing them up. All right. Let me set them out there. We have four, four. so we'll roll a D8. Oh, oops, sorry. Uh, this will be one, two. This will be seven, eight. All right. <laughs> seven, seven, eight. Is? Not. Not. Frodo. Frodo. All right. Good. And that was four paw. All right. Okay. Well. Four paw has a reward. But that one is gone. Oh my gosh. That means the only place. Possible. If. If he's even if here. If he's even here. Right. If he's even here. I think he's having afternoon tea someplace else. Probably. He's a sneaky fella. Old four pot got himself a plot point. Okay. Uh, so that means, gosh, what are we going to do over there? I guess I might as well just. Oh, that made me the director, didn't it? Yep. Okay. Yep. The director. Um, I guess I better try over here. Hmm. <laughs> He's already established there. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to decide on the sequence of events that I want to do. Now that Red Eye is injured, I don't necessarily think I want to make him try for try for it to start off because he's injured. If I let if I gets injured again, he'll go down. I'm gonna have oh. to pull back that other ward. So I'm gonna How far away is he? Is he what? three inches or, is he three inches or more away? He, he, uh, uh, he's not Russian Atheron, if that is that's what you oh, thought. Okay. He's, okay. he's going over to the plot point. Okay, you ready for your parallel? Um, yeah. Two with minor finesse. Two with minor finesse, so he's got three die eight. Got, got it. Got it. And the plot point is already established, so he has two die six in finesse. Uh, I'm gonna do this now. And oh, discard. Wait. No. That's done. That's done. Never mind. Okay. I'll just roll my two die six. Let's see it. 
Got it. Got it. All right. Well, this is it. This is no. it right Whoa. here. We're either going to... <laughs> now, the red herring is still available. You want to mix those? Yeah. The red herring is still in there. If I draw the red herring, then that means that the plot point is going to move somewhere else. Yeah. If I draw the experience, then that means I got a hold of Frodo. If I draw the other reward card, then that means Frodo isn't even here. Uh, and it's basically just going to turn into a bit of a battle then. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Here is the roll. It's a six, so it's this card over here. Hey, boys and girls, if I haven't already, please take a moment right now and uh, hit that like button for us. We really do appreciate that. If you're not a subscriber, Bessie... You ought to be. You ought to be a subscriber. Get subscribed to our little channel. We have a lot of fun on here. If you'd like to do this for us, now Vern Jeske has done... This is game number 18. He was our very first guest. Very first guest he was back our very first. four years ago. Yeah. He is the one. <laughs> that made us believe that we could have other people. He was the guinea pig. Yeah. Yay. And we loved Vern so much. We yep. said, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can do He's this. He's done 18 games with us. This is his 18th game wow. playing Pulp Alley with us via the interwebs. So that's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. If you would like to do this with us on a Sunday Get signed up to play. Send us either an email or a Facebook Aww. message. And four years. Four years. Four yeah. years we've been doing this. Four years. These live November. games. Yeah. Vern. How four awesome years. is that? How yeah. awesome is that? I still I have a make... special. Uh, we're we're trying to. I I can't talk about it yet. We it's still too much in the works. So I'm gonna flip <laughs> over this card. I still. Is this a game if changer? It's, if it's Correct. if it's the experience it's card. Then it's a game changer. Then I've got a hold of Frodo. If it is the red herring, it's a game changer. <laughs> they can't all be game changers. No, they're all. That's the Here point. I'm just flipping the card. I'm flipping it. Here it is. Here we are. Red ah! herring. Yes. And that means Vern that the the game continues. Yeah. In a big way because now so I have happens? to. So what happens? Um, you keep wanting to do that. You keep thinking there's like rules on the card. You can't look at the card. The card. Well, I'm so used. Because the red herring rule can change from scenario to scenario. That means there's there's. Not I guess we've been all playing scenario cards. Where the so cards now I have to put it back the on the scenarios. There. Now I have to put it back on the table. Somewhere and, back on the table, but not within six inches of any of your characters. Not within six inches of any of my characters. And do you want to put it back in the game, all... or do you want to return it to the stack? You Will you relax, character? lady? Let me do one thing at a time here. Yeah. Do you want to put it back in the stack the or not? Stack. Yeah. Over six inches away. I don't away. think that's where you should put it. Yeah, I'm put it back put in the back. stack, just in case I get it again. I'm going to put it back around the corner over here. I, th I think you should put it more in the middle. It'll be a little more fair game. So, <laughs> who has not? Who have I not activated this turn? Red uh, Eye you're is the guy. only one. Yeah. Red Eye. Yeah. No. Did you do? He That's hasn't gone done. over there, so they must have tried that this turn, right? Well, or you that did last four. Turn? You did four paws, but I didn't think you did Jumpy Boy. Okay. Four paw is right. is Jumpy Boy. So, uh, are you saying back paw didn't go? Or two paw? Two paw. Two paw hasn't gone. So, two paw hasn't gone, and red eye hasn't gone. Okay. Okay. Gosh. Are they a rap group? <laughs> Left eye. Uh, Is his real name Lisa? <laughs> um, yeah. I sure would love to get it aware into a safe area, but it really can't. I really don't have a good safe area. It's got to be over six inches for me. So I guess I'm going to put it back here in the middle of this area. Out yeah, in the that's open. good. I mean, you got two that can go hop on it. Wow. Move it a little bit this way. 
Okay. I feel like you shouldn't get to place it since you drew the red hair. I know. Isn't that awful that I get to do that? Who wrote this? Who wrote this? <laughs> so we're taking this out, right? <sighs> I think I can get to it before he does. Possibly. So I am gonna remove. Okay, right. I am gonna remove the red herring from the game. So the red herring is gone. Oh. You know, I think that was a bit of a game changer. Hey, yeah, um, yeah. Does this really turn three? It's the end of turn three. Yeah. Yeah. The end of turn three. <laughs> I still have two characters that have not activated. Right. Yes, you do. So who are you activating? Red Eye is gonna activate and run over to the plot point and sit on it. Yeah, don't forget his blood trail. Yeah. Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. And then two paw is just going to move six inches that way. Okay. So he will be within six inches of the plot point. But he'll be out here. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. And that is all of my movement. And you're also the director because you got the first plot I am point. Still so the director. Yeah. You're yeah. still good yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Uh I have a recovery check to roll. Yes, you do. Oh, and so does Vern. This is for Red Eye. Red Eye shakes off his injury. Okay. Oh, no. And oh. Spec. Roll for Spec. Spec. Oh no, you roll. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Bessie. Oh. I'm not good at recovery. Oh, doing doing the best you can. No, it's and a two. And spec is gone. Bye, spec. So at the end of this turn... <laughs> All right, I'm pulling a bullet. At the end of this turn, the third uh, hound joins the, the pile. Yep. And... They are now covering a 12-inch area, and that's going to cover <laughs> all the way to Four Paw over there. Yeah. So Four Paw, uh, Bilbo. Uh huh. Um, yeah, but Bilbo's already in a perilous area, so just remember that uh, you don't normally have. You know, you're either in a dangerous <laughs> situation or you're not. So you don't yeah. stack perilous areas. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gimrack's in that too, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gimrack. Uh, Gimrack and Fourpaw mm -hmm. are the two that are inside that area now. Any cards? Yes, oh, cards. cards. Uh, Dave, you got a focus. Focus. Nice. Uh, Vern, you got stay down. Stay that would have been handy last time. Ooh, handy. Oh, gosh. I think I just have to go for the plot. I think point, you have to. I? I don't think you can risk letting Atheron. Pop around and Atheron. Take you, pot yeah, because Atheron, even if I try to position a wolf in front of Red Eye, silly Atheron with his moving with his and running. shooting, yeah. he could run around just about anybody I put over there. Although I could try to tie up Atheron with that wolf. He could. He is close enough, isn't he? I still think at this situation. Oh, I think you'd want to get it just to get it out of the way. Gimrack isn't going to be able to get me. Frodo isn't going to be able to get me. It really comes down to Atheron. Yep. It's got that breakaway, though. Oh, damn it. That sucks. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate... Red Eye. All right, let's scoot that camera over so we can get a nice little... Red view. Eye is going to activate, and he is going to root around. There is a small hole. Remember, this is a marshy area, lots of little ditches. It's kind of a little bit hard area to travel through, but there are a he few... He can't do that. He's not very little cunning. settlements here. Little, He's little not very bright. Scattered through the marish. Not very bright. So do I use my focus here? Is that your lowest one, Cunning? Yeah. Two die six in both of them. Ooh. You just it for your biscuit? Yeah. I got another wolf that can try it, so yep. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go for it. You only need one. Who's who can I mean is this has never been failed before. Okay, well then that means I'm going for it. Right? Uh -huh. I only need one? You're got done. It. Woo! 
Oh, you got Past both. The peril. See? Now the plot point. Two with cunning or might. Two with cunning or might. Three die eight. Well, this... Using that focus? I do that focus. When yeah, else are you going to use I'm gonna, it? I'm going to do the focus. I'm going to get that fourth dice in there. Get that fourth die eight in there. Need two of them. I only need two of them. Let's see it. Got, got it. Two. Oh, just barely got the two I needed. All right, and that's going to take us down to Bessie mixing these cards up. One is experience, <laughs> one is not. Bessie, mix up those cards and set them out there, and I will roll a dice. So the rules say that you draw the, the cards randomly. So whatever method you choose to use, mm -hmm. they are supposed to be drawn randomly. Over time, your cards can become marked, you know, depending if you're not using yeah. sleeves or things like that. So if your cards start to be kind of visible from the outside. Especially with like specialty cards getting thrown in <laughs> right. with yeah. your regular cards. Yeah. yeah. It's very Red noticeable. herring gets used far less frequently. So yeah. just yeah. make sure that you're drawing those cards randomly. And that's why it doesn't actually tell you how you're supposed to draw the cards. It just says draw it randomly or, um, you know, pick it randomly. So yeah. here it is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. She's already, she's already like, she knows which one it is. No, I, I uh, purposely so, one, two, mixed three. it where I didn't know. Here it is. Ah! Is it Frodo? No! It is not. Yes. So Frodo isn't <laughs> even <laughs> on the table. <laughs> Frodo is not even <sighs> on the table. So Red Eye picks up the third. So that means there is no major plot major. point. And that means the only way to win this really is via uh, clobbering each other. These plot points are not no drop. It's so tied now right now. It's going to come down to trying to who can come out of it with the most plot points. Because it is 2 2. All right. So at this point, I don't have. Um, so I guess we can just get rid of that. <clears throat> yeah, because we won't, we won't. You know what's funny? One. In my head, when I was shuffling, I was like this close to putting. The experience at the one, two, three. But then I was like, uh. so I mix up and I didn't know where it was. So I didn't actually know where it was going to go. And now the I'm blind really shuffle. The so blind I actually the blind. didn't know. <laughs> so that's why I was nervous. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, so you done I got, good, Bessie. You done good. Got old, <laughs> old back paw over here. Um, I guess. You gonna jump on him? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to jump on Atheron. So that was the first wolf I activated. Yep. Yeah. Three more. Doggone it. He's got that dang breakaway though. Yeah, he does. Oh well. So I'm gonna activate uh back paw. I'm checking your cards, checking my cards. I'm gonna go ahead and activate back paw and I'm one inch away and I will rush you from one yeah, inch. Yeah, I'm gonna away. dodge. Okay. Now, um, you can, you, you don't have to decide whether or not you use the breakaway yet. He has already said, I'm going to choose dodge. Right. So the right way to do this is to wait until the moment that you would roll to decide whether or not you would use the breakaway. So you, oh, okay. what I mean by that is that you can let the opponent roll their dice. And if I miss with everything... Then, then why would you, you know, waste the breakaway? There's no reason to waste right, it like right. that. So well, I, I normally I have four. I intentionally said dodge because I didn't want to right. use the breakaway. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, so, um, but remember what the card says is right. that you play that card instead of rolling dodge. Yeah. So you have to say that you're going to dodge. Right. You, right. You can't say I'm going to I'm going to fight you and then play breakaway. You have right. to say I'm going to dodge because then when it comes around time to roll it, you play the breakaway. Because there are no take back seats. No take back seats. Tap tap. No take back. <laughs> um. So I normally have four die eight, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and discard, discard to add something to that because I don't know when. What are you tossing? In. Uh, that clear shot. I'll get rid of the clear okay. shot. 
All right. I got multiple. So I'll have 5d8 coming at you. Oh, boy. 5d8 coming at you. Not a one. Oh, uh, three, three fours. fours. Now, do you want to roll it? Do you want to roll your, your dodge of four die eight, or do you want to play your breakaway? Hooey. Um, that's a good question. I kind of I live love on the Pulp Alley because you get to think. That's, yeah, that's 40, what makes it fun. 48. Oh. What's he doing? He's 48? rolling it? Okay, Bessie. You can oh, do that. Oh, Lord. You can do that, Bessie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If not, there's a good reason why. And you did it. I Yay. should have... I should have yes. given you an extra dice as well because you are still technically ready. So you should have okay. got an extra dice in there. I apologize for forgetting that. No worries. Uh, Good job, and Bessie. you can back up an inch. Yep. So he backs up an inch. I, I'm pretty sure you wanted to back up an inch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. And which is which are the wards that have rewards already? Uh, red eye is one, and he's the fella. Um, I need to go check yeah. all the way at the back. Yeah. So that's red eye, and the other one is four paw, which is the okay. one that's touching the black area over here. Got it. He's actually okay. in a perilous area, so he could get injured when he activates. Yeah. I might yeah. go ahead and activate him next. I'm not exactly sure right now. Yeah, you're up. So yeah, you're called. Yeah, I know it. Let's see. I wonder if I could send somebody else to attack. I could send somebody else to attack Atheron. Six, Twelve inches to Atheron. Hmm. That would let him shoot. Well. Atheron's really my risk right now. I think I might. Gimrak doesn't have a plot point. Yours, the characters that you have. Yeah, I gotta try and get. I gotta try and get Atheron. All right, I'm gonna activate. I'm gonna activate uh, Tupa over here, and he is going to rush Atheron. He was definitely over three inches. Yeah. So you would have the option to shoot as he comes racing in. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, so you're going to have four die eight. You get your plus right. one. You're going to start with five D eight. Yeah. You got your plus one. I'm sorry. You start with four die eight. You're going to get your plus one because you're still ready. You're going to lose the dice and then you're going to gain a dice. You lose the dice for the previous fight. You gain it back for the short range. So you're going to have five D eight versus the wolves four die eight. And I think I'm going to pitch a card uh, to get a fifth dice. Okay. So I'm going to pitch my steady aim and... Uh, add an extra dice in there as well. So it'll be 5d8 versus 5d8. All right. Here is the wolf. Got two successes, two fives. Okay. Here is your attack. You got three successes. I'm just going to say take them all. So you'll have to roll a two dice health check. I'll roll a three dice health check. Sounds good. Three dice health check for the wolf. I'm going to go ahead and play my bad news and give you an extra hit. So you'll take three hits instead of okay. just two hits. For the wolf, failed. You want to play your bad, your stay down or save it? We'll save it. Okay. The wolf is injured. Sounds Here is good. your three dice health check. You past your health check yes. and are not injured. That's going to Thank make you, you the Dave. director because you clearly won that fight. The right reward on. hunter draws blood. Mm. Okay, that's going to make you the director now. I have activated... I only have one character that has not activated. You have... 
three characters that have not activated. Correct. What do you want to do? Are you going to go next, or are you going to make me go? Yeah, we're we're going to go ahead and go next. Um, okay. Let's have Gimrak see what he can do against the All one right. that's in so the perilous area. He's going to draw peril when he activates. Yep. His peril is three. With Whoa. brawl, might, or finesse. So. All right. Guess that's going to be brawl. Three die yep. eight. Yep. Now, you could use your. You could use your axe yeah. ability here to to discard and gain a plus two bonus if you wanted to. But I would I would lose that in the attack, or is that good for the whole turn? It is not good for the whole turn. Okay. It is for one powerful blow. Yeah. Well, let's go. Well, let's go ahead and use it. Let's get rid of the stay down. Stay down is gone. That's going to get you two dice. So you have five D eight, five D eight here, and you only need three successes. Easy peasy eight five five, and you pass the peril. You may right. continue your activation. You want to move up and attack that wolf? Yep. Do I need another perilous? No. No. Nope. No. Okay. Move up and attack the wolf. Move up and attack. All right. I lost your sound. Check, check, check. Can you hear me? Oh, Can you hear me? I'm back. You're back. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Gimrak, you have three die eight to attack with. Hmm. Do I attack? Back or do I dodge? Hmm. Oh, that's a tough one. That is a really tough one. Four I eight and both of them. My goal here and what makes it tough, and you know, you you look at that and you go, well, a lot of people will look at that and they'll just say, well, yeah, four I eight and attack or four I eight and dodge. Why wouldn't you just attack? And the difference is, is what is my goal? What do I achieve by inflicting damage on Gimrak? Right. Really nothing. I, I don't achieve a darn thing other than maybe trying to eliminate him. Uh, but a dwarf with an armored dwarf, it's going to be pretty tough to get through. Mm -hmm. By choosing to dodge, then even if I don't dodge all of his hits, maybe I can mitigate some of them and stay alive. That's one of my wargs that's carrying a plot point. It's important right. that I try to keep him alive. So although I get the same dice, you know, when you think about what is my goal for that warg, I want to keep him in play. And yeah. right now it's it's important that I keep him in play. So I'm gonna go ahead and dodge. Okay. Maybe not the smartest play, but, but it's what it's I want to do that there. Makes sense. Yeah. So Gimrak will roll his three die eight. Go ahead, babe. Roll your three die eight okay. to attack. Well, that's going to be uh, impossible to dodge. There's two, two eights, eights and, a six. and a six. Oh, 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 oh. I haven't been doing too good with my dodging well, in this roll, game Bessie, anyway. Good job. So I'm actually going to take two of the hits. I'll stop the six. I'll take two hits. Woohoo! And no. I am not damaged. So even though I wasn't able to get away, I was still able to maybe mitigate enough of the hits that I was still able to stay alive. Right. I didn't have to beat all of them. I just had to beat enough to keep me in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you are still the director. You right. have not activated Bilbo. Okay. Oh, and, I and you have not activated, activated Atheron, Atheron either. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Good. so let's have <clears throat> Atheron move over towards Red Eye. Atheron is still engaged. Oh, he is? Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, remember you fought me there. Right, right. So you did not dodge. So with Atheron yeah. activates, he will have to fight. To fight, yeah. Okay. Okay. Then we will fight. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he's he actually way, right? not the best brawler. What'd you no. say? He still has his breakaway? 
Yes, he does. Okay. Uh, so Brawl is going to be completely wiped out. Um, you normally have two die six in Brawl. Um, you are ready, so that would get you that third dice, but you have right. been in two fights, so that would cause two of those dice to go away. That would leave you with one dice if you wanted to brawl, which, if you cause one more hit to that warg, maybe you could take it out. Yeah, let's always or, do the try. you can dodge with four die eight. I'm sorry. Oh, true, true. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dodge with four die eight. 5d8 because you're ready right okay 5d8 uh on your dodge uh my warg uh is now injured so uh -huh. it's only attacking with three die six here is the attack from the warg only got a four uh bessie you can roll that need to get a four to uh dodge Easy peasy, Got no it. problem there, and you can back away from me. Fantastic. Yeah. Kind of back away in this direction. That keeps it an inch away from both of those enemy yeah. wards there. Cool. Let's see. And Bilbo. Who? Yep. I still Bilbo. have one ward. Oh, that ward over there hasn't activated. So we still have two characters to play that have not activated. Um, All right. So which is the other one that hasn't activated? This oh, one that, over right. here that's on Gimrack. Ooh. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with Bilbo. Bilbo. And move so him. So as soon as he activates, he gets a peril. Right. Draw, babe. Two with Two cunning, with or, cunning might. or might. You have three die ten in cunning. Got easy it. peasy so you make your right. peril you can move up to six inches all right let's move him towards red eye towards red eye six inches forward mm -hmm. okay now uh if you shoot if i'll you be revealed shoot, uh the injured ward over here is your nearer target yeah right which i think may be a, a good shot for him or yeah 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 i don't think there's any reason not to shoot at that warg oh that's that's his, one of his hindered abilities he's not a, he's not a great shooter no. um so he would uh y you'll only roll 1d8 which is could be enough to take him out ah short range that'll get you two die eight if you discard your breakaway card, I'll let you have a third dice just because I like you. <laughs> I'm going to hang on to the breakaway. And... Okay. Well, you got two die eight. Yeah. And yeah, let's okay. shoot at the injured injured one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he will be trying to dodge with four die six. Okay. Got a five. You got a five. And got he it. dodged it. Right. Uh, so bad. remember that on a disengage move, uh, like I could say I'm going to dodge, uh, because I successfully dodged, I can move an inch. You uh -huh. cannot use that move to move into uh -huh. contact with an enemy. Your right. a disengage move means that you have to end your movement one inch away from all enemy characters. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. I'll just go ahead and sidestep a little bit, kind of kind of just head off this way uh, an inch. I don't have yeah. to move at all could just stay where he was um so that's all your characters so i only have one character left that has right. not activated this turn and that is the wolf that's over here frolicking with uh Jim Rack. Jim now he Rack. gets a peril when he, he does get a peril as soon as he activates he's going to get a peril one with might or finesse can't do either one one with might or finesse <laughs> so he has three die eight Hmm, I'm going to do something a little bit tricky here. Are you? Well, maybe. It's never good when you say I want to do something a little tricky. You're doomed. I know. Um, dang it. All right, I'll just roll it straight up. 
What I'm going to dodge it. 498. Okay, so I successfully dodged it. So and I'll what's take your my, trick move? I'll take my one inch move away from Gimrock. Okay, and that will end my activation. So now that'll cancel the fight because the fight never happened. Yeah. Right. I'm also going to use my just reward card now. <gasps> And take the uh, initiative away from. Oh, dude! Yeah. You son of a. Good call. What, what was that? <laughs> That's a good what call. You got it. No, the it. whole time I'm like, oh, good, we didn't miss it. We can still get it. We're not gonna <laughs> lose the directorship. <laughs> That's hey, that's a good call. It's called strategy. Mm. Right on. All right. That was my something <laughs> a little bit tricky. <laughs> I think that's just a dirty dog move. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are wargs. They are wargs, after all. That's so the end now, of the turn? as we start, oh, recoveries. Yeah, I have one recovery to roll for, which I yep. need. Need this one. Failed. No, it's failed. Okay, so Yay. that one. That's two paw. Two paw is not carrying a plot point. Uh, My two wargs. Did your not yet. Okay. So that ends the turn. We're starting a new turn. We have, this is starting turn number five. You're the five. director. Yep. Right. Dave got disarmed. Disarmed. Vern, okay. you got a stunned. 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 That's nice. All right. Stunned. All right. Hmm. You going to go first or are you going to? I don't, I don't think I can let Vern go first this time. Sure you can. So my, my plot point carriers, and I'm going to put the buttons out there so I can keep track now. I'm going to okay. put the button on him to show that he's carrying a plot point. I'm going to put a button on this one to show that he's carrying okay. a plot point. So those are the two that have plot points. And I guess I'll do the same for you guys, too. So Atheron has one. I don't think you need to for us. And Bilbo, Bilbo has one. Yep. Dang it. Bilbo is not in hiding. Not anymore. Now, yeah. He's got sting, and it does sting. So we've got to watch out for that. So somebody was asking me the other day, um, you know, why we didn't include the uh, the mithril coat, uh, you know, when we made up Bilbo. And we didn't. We didn't include it. Uh, and it's because uh, he donated that to, uh, I think it's called a Matham house, which are little museums. The hobbits have a tradition of donating things to. It's all like a, not not a thrift store because they don't sell this stuff, but they just, you know, it's like a storage, a long term long term storage area, uh, like a museum. But when Myth, uh, when Bilbo got back from the, um, from his adventure with Smog, he donated his his mithril shirt to a Matham house. Um, now, he obviously goes back and gets it before he travels to Rivendell in 3001 right. of the Third Age. So that's that's something to keep in mind. But And I could have said that, you know, when he goes off on these adventures, he goes over and gets it every time. But that kind of felt kind of goofy, you know. So whenever they have something that they don't want to throw away, but they can't bear to throw it away, but they... They don't want to just keep it around. They they donate it to the Matham House. And it's probably safer yeah. there. And there are multiple Matham Houses yep. scattered around the Shire. Um, All right, what are you doing? And that's why he doesn't have his mithril coat. His silver steel, if you want to call it silver steel. Cause, um, God. Try to protect my plot points. I would. I've got stinking man failing that. Hi, Sky Fisher. Failing that that um, that recovery check really has has hurt my plan over here. Oh, I need cool. to find out if my wolf is is within twelve inches of the uh, 
outside of the, the Carlos area now. Yeah, just barely. Okay. So he can run. <sighs> Alright. What you doing? Oh god, this is tough. Two turns to go. Yeah, maybe we just take our loot and run. Doggone it. If I could get Bilbo. You're not getting Bilbo. I think I can take Bilbo. Well, then do it. Put your money where your mouth is. I think I can get Bilbo. Take mouth. <laughs> I think I can get Bilbo. Let's, let's give it a whirl. All right, All right. Red Eye is going to take on Bilbo. He's going to activate... Uh, red eye, and he's just gonna rush Bilbo. Okay. Bilbo has sting, and that yep. is scary. I've got four die eight coming at Bilbo. Bilbo, you can dodge me with four die ten, or you can We're sting go me ahead. with three die ten. We're gonna meet you, you with sting. Do? We're gonna fight. Sting. All right. Yep. Here we go. Four successes. Minus one. So that would be three for those playing along at home. A few math whizzes. <laughs> Got a five. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. I'll block your five and give you two. All right. Okay. Roll a two dice health check. Get me a little taste of Bilbo right here. Yum. No, you're not. All right. No injury to Bilbo. Right on. But those two wolves are tied up, or that, that wolf and Bilbo. I can't rush him with that fellow. But what I think I'll do instead... Oh, he's... Four, four paw has a... No, it was the other guy. No, it is him. Oh, it is him, yeah. Four paw has one. Why did I put it over here? Four paw has a plus yeah. point. Okay. Dang it. All right. Um. Hmm. All right. Well, I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with four paw. Then I guess I'm gonna move him back. I want to get on Bilbo if I can. 12 inch run. All right, I'm gonna do a 12 inch run and I'm gonna put him all the way back here. And he's gonna stop there. All right, I'm gonna have to go against uh, Atheron again. Hmm. Maybe I make him activate now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Vern, I have activated two wolves, and they are both of the wolves that have plot points. Right. These two wolves have not activated. Okay. Two paw and back paw have not activated. So at this point, I'm going to ask you to activate a character. All right. He still has that breakaway. Yep. All right. So we're going to move. Um... Atheron. Activate. Okay, I don't have anything to play. Where's Atheron going to go? He's going to go over towards Bilbo and then take uh -huh. a shot. Take a shot at the one you just moved. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a six-inch move. Put you around to right about here. Make that one the nearest target. Alright, so you got four die eight going against it. Plus one, plus two, so you have six die eight, and I'll have four die eight to dodge. Okay. Elven Archer scores four successes. And reroll this. Dodge. Oh, a reroll. Reroll re this. Okay. Yep. A six. Turned it into a six. Oh, Dodge. 
Dodge mm. four of them. So take one. Dodge. 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 Take one. Passed. Dang it. Good shooting there. All right. Too bad. I'm going to ask you to activate again. You have Bilbo and Gimrock. How close is Gimrock to the one that's attacking Bilbo? He's about eight inches. I'll measure it exactly. But when you activate Gimrock, he's going to get a peril. So he won't be able to move over six inches this turn. Yeah, you're about eight inches away from Red Eye. Okay. And because he's armored, he can't run? Well, because you're no, in a perilous, you're in a perilous area. area. You're in a perilous area. You're still oh. in the perilous area from the dogs. Okay. So that's what prevents you from running. But you're right, right. also. He wouldn't be able to run without rushing. Um, but okay. And what's really slowing him down right now is the dogs. Yeah. So when you activate him, you'll get a peril. Okie doke. Two with cunning or might. Two with cunning or might. Three die eight in might. Okay. Unless you wanted to dodge it. Oh, let's see here. Okay. Oh, uh, hold, hold on. So three die eight. Um, yeah, go ahead. Okay, roll it. Got it. Easy peasy. You may continue your activation as normal, so you can move six inches towards Red Eye. Is that what you want okay. to do? Yeah. All right. Uh, now you still have another activation, so either you can activate or I can activate. Can he do something after he goes six? Um, sure. He could try to shoot at something. I don't... Um, I guess I can yeah, shoot. Let's just get him a, a little bit better line of sight here. If we move him kind of in a little bit of an angle like this, I think he could shoot at that wolf that has a plot point. Yeah, let's He's go. He's even and do in that. short range. So, yeah, um, you didn't move over six. You are within six, so you're going to have three die six to roll for an attack. Dodging with four die eight. A five. <laughs> you got a five. Dodging. Stop got it. it. Let's see. And that wolf is going to take that inch of movement and move one inch closer to Atheron. Okay. Okay. So that's all of us. Do you still have your two wolves? Yeah, you've activated everybody now. Did, did Bilbo already activate? Bilbo did not, not. activate. Did not. Yeah, right, 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 right. Bilbo has an activation. Now, you don't have to activate him yet. Right. Um, I still have two wolves that have not activated, or you could activate Bilbo. Okay, so he's already been in a fight, so you can only have 2d10 for brawling. Correct. Um, Got your breakaway. Yeah, we got the breakaway. Um, let's go ahead and and fight the wolf. Yeah, that's what Bilbo does. Yeah, that's what Bilbo Baggins does. Um. Okay. Um, I'd like to get an injury on him, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll three die ten. Three die eight. Eight. Three die eight. Uh huh. I'm gonna use my disarmed. To get an extra dice in there. I, I already included the minus one from the previous fight. That's why I only have three instead of four. But now I'm going to pump it back up to four by using my disarm. Yeah. All right. So two die ten versus four die, four die eight. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't use that the first time, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. In the first fight. A nine. You got a nine. This is Bilbo's activation. Mm. This is Red Eye. And he only gets two successes. So how does Bilbo want to play that? We can block one if we want to. Yeah, we could. Or you just but say take them all. Take them all. Oh, that's weird. Take them all. 
Is that, okay. Is that my hat? Is that what was causing that? Was I getting in front of the camera? I didn't think so, but maybe. I, yeah. I don't think so. Okay. We're all right. Okay. Now. You said take them all? Are we losing that camera? Is that... Well, we've got Hold the on other a second. Okay. I'm trying to see what's going on with the camera. I wonder if the cord's loose. I don't know. Okay. Um, he said take them all, didn't he? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So Bilbo's yep. going to roll a two dice health check. The wolf will roll a one dice health check. Bilbo oh. is injured. Dang. Wolf. Oh, is not injured, and that's going to make me the director. I was already the director. Never mind. Yeah. Bilbo's got an injury on him, boys and girls. He's not going to be able to use the ring now because he's engaged with an enemy, so he cannot go into hiding right now. And you've activated all your characters. I still have two characters that have not activated, right. and it is these two wolves back here. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and activate this injured wolf. And it is going to rush at Atheron. Is he within three inches? He was, he was, yeah, definitely too close to rush or too okay. close to shoot. Gotcha. Um, so how many fights has Atheron been in now? He's been in one this turn. One, one he shot this once. Turn. Yeah. He's been in one fight, so you won't be able to shoot. Um, you can brawl me with one die six or dodge me with four die eight. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the dodge thing. Yeah. Okay. The wolf is bringing four die six against you. Five and a four. Okay. Blocked one. Dang. Take one. Gonna have to roll a one dice health check. Mm. Nope. And Atheron is bloody. Oh. Boys and girls. No. Oh. Boys and girls, blood is being drawn by the wargs. I, what's wrong? Talk to me. You're no, open. I think it was. I think it was me, because I had my foot on this, and. I don't okay. know, I just, so I'll check the connections. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh all right. So I still have one warg that has not activated, and yep. he's going to rush at. Atheron. Oh, no. You won't be able to shoot because right. you're engaged. engaged. Mm -hmm. To be married. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't think that's what it is. Oh. Uh, so Atheron has another warg closing in on him. So let's go ahead and break away. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, go through the motions here and I'm going to remind everybody that you don't actually have to do that until it's time to roll. So just on the off chance that I roll absolutely no successes, right. we'll just let the wolf roll. But we'll have breakaway in hand, right. ready to slap it down. Right, right, right. Yeah. So the wolf is rolling four die eight. I got two successes, two eights. So you, what, you chose to dodge. So right yeah. now you could either roll, which would mean that you would automatically fail you because you can't roll Because we only have D8s D6. Anymore. So, so now you use the breakaway and say, no, no, no. And you can move one to three inches away from me. Where do you want to go? Back on the other side of Gimrak? Yeah, that's it. You want to get away as far as you can? Yeah. I would say, yeah, yeah. Three yeah. inch move towards Gimrak is not going to get you on the other side of him. So okay, that's one of those you... situations where you want the wolf to make his roll so that you can use the breakaway. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 That, 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 
I don't want to, I don't want to confuse anybody out there. Whether or not the wolf rolled any successes or not is irrelevant. You could still use the breakaway even if the wolf didn't roll any successes. Oh, okay. That you're, you... To get your three inches. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that you're you don't. It doesn't mean you're not allowed to roll if right. if the wolf didn't get any successes. It just means you, there's no reason to roll. But right. you, the yeah. roll still could occur if you wanted to. So uh, in yeah. other words, I do want to suggest that there was a loophole there because it yeah. is not. Uh, three inches is not going to get you on the other side of Gimrak, but it's going to get you right there, right okay. up next to him. You are still near a target. You're going to have two recovery checks to make. We still have one last turn to go. Yep. Let's do those recovery checks. Here is for my injured wolf. I have an injured wolf sitting out there. And it remains injured. And that one, that's not one that's carrying the plot point. It is that's, not. No. That's two paw. No. Okay. Um, so, you, Bessie, you have two recovery checks here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We have, who are you going to roll for first? You have Atheron. And you have Bilbo. Yeah, we got Bilbo. choices. Here's for right, Bilbo. Bilbo is. Here's for Bilbo. Bilbo. Yes. Bilbo shakes it off. Yeah. The power of the ring, perhaps. Hmm. Interesting. Ah. Oh. Atheron remains injured. Too bad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I had to pick somebody. All right. He is within striking range of four, three wargs. All Ooh, right, let's have some. Drop that plot point. Let's have a good card here. Oh, oh yeah. cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull yeah. So we are starting the last turn of the scenario. You got a lucky break. I got a lucky break. Could have used that earlier, lady. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Ain't no problem. She just pulled that out of her pocket. That doesn't fool me. I know what she did there. How was that for a good draw, Vern? Right on. Wait. Damn it. I'm all right. It, I that love stinks. it. That's Damn a good one. I know. I'm pretty proud of that one. Yeah. Man. Senior well, Dave is still the director. I don't know. Yep. I, I think I still have to throw everything I have against. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you <coughs> want to win, that's that's your best. Yeah, I think I still have to throw everything I have against uh, Atheron. So. Now the um, farmer's dogs stopped at the twelve. Twelve. So yeah, nobody maximum. is in it. Yeah, nobody so is in it anymore. So we're good to go. Yeah, everybody's out of it now. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to send my wargs against against Atheron. If I could take him, I'll, uh, if the thing is that now I'm gonna have to get two injuries on him. I'm gonna have to force him to to use, use his "I'm all right" yeah. first. Yeah. He's gotta get out of jail free card. Then I'm gonna have to send in another warg to try and take him down. We're gonna yep. send in our un. We're going to send in our uninjured warg first that has right, no let's, plot let's point. Shoot them, shoot them on the way in. Has no injury. And you're going to roll to shoot at me. Yep. Okay. And we're ready. Yep. You are ready. And so you're going to have like six die six. I'll have four die eight. You got a five. A six and a four. Oh. All right. So three successes. Reroll re re one of those. Oh, and a reroll. Yeah. Okay. Just one. Oh, dang it. A one. Okay. Oh. Hey, uh, I think I'm going to use my stumble to get an extra dice here. Nah. Okay. No, 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 no. Not yet. I just need to make you burn your I'm all right. Okay, three hits. 
Two sixes and a five. Huh. Huh. Well, I would really love to be able to close his dice out here. You know it? Yeah. What are you going to do? I would love to be able to just block all of his dice and keep my wolf on him. But on the other hand, that's not going to make him use his I'm all right. I got to make yep. him use it. So I'm going to I'm going to do an all uh, uh, a take them all. So Vern, you're going to have to roll a three die six health check and I'm going to have to roll a three die eight health check. Got it. I'm the active character. I'll go ahead and roll mine first. And I pass oh with my three God. seven. Oh, Three sevens. Wow. The wolf is not injured. Would you like to roll your health check, or do you want to play your "I'm all right"? Ooh. Three dice health check, or "I'm all right." If Let's if you it. if you don't if you fail this health check, you will go down and yep. lose your plot point. Right. So we're gonna go with the "I'm all right." Okay. "I'm all right" is used. Okay. He is not rolling a three dice health check. Now, it actually puts me in a really tricky position here. I, I think I've actually put myself in a bad spot because now... He's engaged, so... Do now you he's engaged. And now for this wolf right here, for, he has for to four go to paw here... Grimrock, right? No. Oh. I could, the only reason I could ignore uh, Bilbo is if I rush an unengaged model. So right now, I can either rush Bilbo with him, or I can rush Gimrac, right. which I don't want to do either one. Mm -hmm. And what that means... Tough choices. You got to make them sometimes. Nah, you don't. No? Okay. I, I'll, just, I'll just let you activate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sidetrack that one. I'll just let you activate instead. So, you decide. Who do you yeah. want to activate? Okay, so we're going to activate Gimrak, and he's going to charge the one that's fighting Bilbo. Okay. Unfortunately, you're in the same position that I am. Oh, yeah, you're right. If you want to rush an engaged in enemy, then you have to rush the nearest. You could bypass both of Atheron and Bilbo's and go all the way back here and rush this one back here that's holding yeah. on to a plot point. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, yeah. he comes through the fray. And we'll discard like so. stun to give us a little extra whoop there. What did he say? Discard stun to get a oomph. Okay. Discard stun. Done. To, he has his axe held high as he comes busting through there. Gonna chop down a warg. Uh, that's gonna get you up to 5d8. 5d8. And I think the warg is having second thoughts about that. I think the warg thinks that's, that's not a great position to be in. I think you should go for it. No. I'm going to try and dodge you. Alright. All right. I'm going to try and dodge you. Do your 5d8. Okay. Oh, So four successes, seven, eight, six, four. Yeah, something's wrong with that cable. What'd you say? Something's wrong with that cable. The the overhead, the dice cam? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Four Look successes. At that. Eight stops your eight. Seven stops your seven. You dodged everything. Six dobs your six. Okay, I gotta six go dodges your six. Okay. Yeah. All right. And wound, everything was wound. dodged, and oh I think I, I'm going to go ahead and back up an inch. What? 
You did not take a control of the initiative there, so nope. I'm going to ask you to activate another character. All right. Boy, with Gimrak in there, I'm going to have a hard yeah. time getting him now. You have okay. Bilbo and you have Atheron. Right. Okay, so let's have um, Atheron Still, uh -huh. attempt to dodge out of that. Okay, so Atheron activates. A fight automatically starts. Remember that, boys and girls. If right. you activate in contact with an enemy, that's going to start a fight. I'm going to try unplugging this and plugging it back in. Hold on sure. just a moment. No worries. And just see if this cable right here is the problem. Okay, so you're going to be rolling. Uh, you're four injured, so you're six. going to be rolling four die six. Yep. You are ready. That's going to get you that extra dice. Right. So that's five D six. That is such cheating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? I was, I was just trying to come up with something that kind of represented elf. And I was going, you know, what am I going to do? It's, it's probably OP, right? It's probably overpowered. But I'm fine with it, definitely for this fun little game. Yeah. I don't mind. So we'll just we'll just let it be OP. Um, I think it's OP. So five D six. This is your activation. That's why you get that extra dice. Um, the warg is down to three die eight to attack you because it's been in a fight. I did not use my. Um, hey, discard ability last attack, so I will use it now. So I'm going to use my discard to get an extra dice. So I'll have 5d8 coming at you. Alright. Here's wow. the attack. A6 is all I got. So as long as you don't get a 6 on any of your dice, you'll still have to roll a health it. check. Okay, here is the dodge. And you did not get a six. Oh. Not a single that's, six. That means you're going to have to roll a one dice health check. Bessie, Bessie should have rolled. one dice health check. Okay. You're going to have to roll this one. You're going to have to roll this Daddy. one. Daddy. <laughs> and he passes his health check. Yes. yes. He is not injured. So move his Dang it, I away. needed that. If, I'd have pa if he'd have failed that, boys and girls... He would have dropped, and he'd have dropped his plot point. And that's yep. all I need. I got to get him to drop his plot point. No, we're gonna now I got... So that's still flashing there. Yep. I unplugged it and plugged it back in. Is it your foot again? No, was my foot was down here. It wasn't even... Okay. Um, okay. Um, and so all we have left is Bilbo? Yes, I'm going to ask you to activate. Okay. All right, let's see what we got there. Okay, move. So, yeah, go ahead and move Atheron back an inch. Uh, you could not because you did not escape. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. Got it. The warg is holding on to you. Now, this is the... All right, the Bilbo. Last, is this the last move of the game? Yes. No, I still have two oh. wargs. You do? Okay. I still right, have two wargs. So, all right, well, Bilbo will... Will attack the one that's against him. Okay. I don't think Bilbo has. Did I attack? I don't think he's been in a nope. fight. So he has two die. He has three die ten. Yeah. He has three die ten against the ward. Um, um, you know, let's do a. Uh, let's do a dodge. Okay. Uh, I'll just do a dodge as well, and we'll just call that fight uh, over and done over okay. there. Okay. Uh, do you want to back up an inch? Yeah. Or keep me engaged? Hold on, Sissy. I'm sorry, Vern. I, I didn't hear you if you answered. That's all right. Um, let's go ahead. If you're agreeable to that, let's stay engaged. Okay. 
All right, so you remain engaged, Yay! and uh, I will as well. I think the only thing I have left are these two wards over here. Okay. I think. That's all I have. I've lost track now. Um, so I have to try and get Atheron is who I have to get. And there's not going to be a way for me to get him. Right. Sorry, Joy put it there. There's, there's not going to be a way for me to get him. So at this Daddy. point, I think we just have to call it a draw. Daddy. Yeah. Because oh, fighting Gimrak uh, won't achieve anything for me. So, yeah. yeah. I think we're just going to call it a draw right there. We're going to have Sounds to let good. the uh, the the wargs, uh, Red Eye lets out a howl, and the wargs go traipsing back off out of the, uh, yeah. the Marish. And uh, take take off, and uh, the hunt continues perhaps another day. Yeah. But Frodo was not found, so Frodo is still somewhere in the vicinity, but mm -hmm. we don't know exactly where. Yeah. So the hunt can continue for Frodo as well. But that so gonna... will be another story. Yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning so in today. We really appreciate you. If you're still on here with us, Type a howdy in, in, in the chat for us real quick, just so we can kind of, uh, <laughs> what is it? What is it? Oh. oh. Well, great fun, oh. you guys. Okay. Yeah, that was a blast. Yeah. Okay. And so I, get, I think our next, next quest is to go rescue Spec from the, the teacup corgis. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. corgis. Yeah. What was that you said, Bessie? Was it teacup corgis or Yorkies? Yorkies. 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 Yeah. Although corgis are supposed to be notoriously a little grumpy, so they could be corgis. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. If you'd like to do this on a Sunday morning with us, get signed up. Uh, send us an email or send us a Facebook message. Howdies. Look at the howdies. howdies. Look at all the howdies. We got we a Neil Morgan. You guys. Who Diego, else is on there? Diego, Charlie Stout, Bride G, Jim Stoot, Minnie Warmutt, uh, Sean awesome, Hudson, awesome, Randy awesome. Wendell, DW, this was fun today. Oog, Ray, Scud Fisher, Ray, Anna Vernjeski. Anna Vernjeski. How awesome right. is that? How awesome is that? All right, I guess we're going to have to call that birds to hang on here for just a moment. Sure. And uh, a big thank you to everybody for coming on yeah. here and playing with us today. Bessie, play us out of here. Do -do 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 -do. Right. Bessie. Do -do 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 -do. June. Do -do 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 -do. Max. Right, right. Do -do 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 -do. 